A Tabor businessman will be sentenced in May on charges of internet luring and accessing child pornography. Court was told that 43-year-old Curtis David Parody posed as a 20-year-old man to establish an online relationship with a 16-year-old girl in the United States. He then convinced the girl to perform sexual acts on a webcam. Sentencing arguments were presented in Tabor today, and as Terry Vote reports, the Crown and Parody's lawyer have much different opinions on how severe the penalty should be. Curtis Parody left the courthouse only minutes after issuing a tearful apology, saying he's extremely sorry for what he had done, telling the judge he had thought about suicide but doesn't want to hurt his family and friends any more than he already has. Special Prosecutor Nadine Nesbitt says Parody, a former chair of the Tabor Police Commission, used the Internet to disguise and misrepresent himself as a 20-year-old man grooming his 16-year-old victim and by lying, trickery and manipulation was able to exploit a naive adolescent. Nesbitt called for an 18-month jail sentence. These investigations are very difficult to investigate and they're difficult to prosecute. People think they're anonymous on the internet, but they're not. And we will find you and we will prosecute you. All of Mr. Parody's actions from the moment he was arrested led to this point to show that he's taken what he's done seriously, that he wishes to make amends. He's not trying to hide behind anything. He was upfront and honest from day one with the police. Defense lawyer Doug Carl says while he expects Parody will spend some time in jail, he called for the judge to consider imposing part of the time to be served as a conditional sentence. Carl says his client has already started counseling and is receiving treatment on his own for sex addiction. We are extremely hopeful and we believe that on the, the law and the facts and merely just the personal circumstances which were played out there today in court, that a conditional sentence is a tool that the judge hopefully will consider. Following the sentencing arguments, the Crown withdrew a number of the charges that Parody had been facing. They admit there was no evidence that Parody saved the web video on his computer or that he had possessed or distributed other forms of child pornography. Judge Derek Redman has reserved his decision. He says he'll now take all of the sentencing arguments into consideration and hand down his decision on May 22nd. Terry Vogt, CTV News, Tabor. Court was told that Parody's business has suffered, partly because of publicity surrounding the charges. The third generation auto business closed its doors at the end of March. Parody's wife and family were among nearly 30 people at court to show their support for Parody.